Hey, it's David here again, and in this video, I'm going to show you a simple process that will allow you to get rid of any negative feelings in five easy steps. Okay, so you're upset. Maybe you get upset about things quite often, but you don't have to hold on to that negative emotion for very long. That's the good news. And there is a thing that will allow you to drop any negative feeling you have about any event in your life when it comes up. And when you learn this process, it's very, very liberating because you can practice it. You can learn it, first of all, and then you just practice it and you get better at it and better at it and better at it. And what it does is it helps you to reverse all the projections that go on in your life that cause you suffering. So I'm going to walk you through this. I'm going to show you step by step. There's five of these, right? Five steps. So first of all, step one is recognize that you are upset. Step one, recognize that you're upset. So you just recognize that you've lost your peace of mind. Something has hit home with you. Something has landed in you, right? So you're upset about something. It's very simple, right? That's the first thing you do. You just realize, okay, you know what? I can't pretend like this isn't annoying me. This is bothering me. Whatever this thing is, it's bothering me. I feel upset. That's step one. Step two is identify the aspect or identify the issue. Identify the thing that is bothering you, okay, or causing you this emotional pain. So a few examples I've written down here. You might see a child crying right no one likes to hear the noise of a child crying okay that might hit home for you maybe your boss ignores you at work that's another thing right that could be something that upsets you um, maybe you feel like you've been rejected by somebody maybe you feel like at the end of the month you're not going to be able to pay your bills on time okay that could hit home and finally, the fifth one here I have written down is maybe you look in the mirror and you hate the way your body looks. Okay, so there are five examples of identifying the aspect. Okay, so if you look in the mirror and you don't like what you see, realize, first of all, I'm upset. And then you say, well, what am I upset about? I do not like what I see in the mirror. I think I'm, I'm fat or I'm overweight. All right. So there are the five examples. Now, step three. Step three is you remove what you see externally from the situation, okay? Or you remove the other person from the situation. And what you're doing here is you're removing the other person or the, or the event or the situation or the thing you see. You're taking them away from the scene of the crime, okay? Um, and what you're left with is the emotional reality that sits with you, okay? So you take away, you stop focusing on whatever it is you see, and you get in touch with what it is, the internal reality of how you feel in that instance, okay? So you remove whatever it is you see externally from the situation, that is step three, okay? So you're left with the feeling. Um, now, what happens then is, you acknowledge that whatever the experience you're having, you are creating, okay? At least in how you react to it. So you are creating the reality as it is. So that's step three, okay? You remove them from the situation and you accept that who is generating this feeling? Where does this feeling reside? It resides in me. Now step four, Step four, you've removed them from the situation, you're left with the emotional reality that you have. And what you do is, you say, I'm feeling this way because I believe X, Y, or Z, whatever the thought is that you hold, okay? So for instance, if you see a child crying, you accept that, okay, well, I'm generating this feeling, but why? The thought is pain is terrible. I see the, ch the child crying 
and I'm feeling this way because pain is terrible. Right? So that's the belief you hold in that situation that is causing you the emotional turbulence. For instance, if your boss ignored you, right? What you would look at the belief that you're holding on to in that case is forget you've removed the external situation. The belief you have is my boss should respect me. That's the belief that is running. In the situation where you feel rejected, the belief you hold is I can be rejected. I can be rejected. Okay, that's a belief. A situation where um, you can't pay your bills, it could be something like I need to control the future. That's the belief that you're sitting sitting with. Okay. And, and when you don't like what you see, when you look in the mirror, the belief you might have is um, something like, my body should look a lot better than it does right now. Okay, right in this instance, my body should look a lot better than it is. So what you're doing here, and that's step four, okay, you're looking at the beliefs that are there with you, you that you are generating and, ho and holding on to. And what you, what you did in the last step was you removed the other from the situation. In this step, you're realizing that, yes, you've removed the other person or the, or the event from the scene of the crime. And now you're beginning to realize that your fingerprints are all over the murder weapon. In fact, you're holding the murder weapon and you're pointing it at your own head. Okay, so that's step four. Because I believe X, Y, or Z, I am generating this reality, this inner reality for myself. And the last step is step five. Once you become aware that you are holding on to the murder weapon, pointing at, at yourself, you have a choice. Okay, you have a choice. And at that point, you can ask yourself, do I want to hold on to this belief? No matter how rational it seems, okay, to me, I must admit that it's not causing me peace. It's not bringing me peace. In fact, it's causing me huge anxiety and upset. Do I want to hold on to it and at that point you can either choose to hold on to it or you can just say you know what I'm gonna let this go I'm gonna let this belief go and generally if you get to step five in the process it's not a difficult decision to make it's in fact quite an easy decision to make okay uh, because we all want to feel like ourselves we all want to feel at peace so you do decide you know what I'm not gonna hold on to that belief anymore because I want to feel good again. I want to feel relaxed. I want to feel at peace. So they are the, step, the five steps. And again, this is something that you practice. You practice this in your day-to-day -day life. You practice this every day. And you, you get so good at doing these five, this five-step um, little technique that it becomes almost um, automatic in your life. So again, what are they? You recognize you're upset. You identify what the aspect is, the thing that's bothering you. You remove that thing from the situation and you realize you're left with an emotional reality in yourself. Then you identify, well, what is the belief that is causing me to have this reaction? And finally, you decide if you want to keep it. Okay, so five steps to emotional freedom. This will change your life. This changes your perception, right? It is about total self-empowerment in every situation in your life. You learn how to let things go that do not serve you, okay? You learn how to let things go that do not serve you. And that is freedom. That is the definition of freedom in this world. So guys, that's my five steps. Um, they're probably not mine, to be honest. They're amalgamation of other people's ideas I've read over the years. Um, but, you know, it's been called a lot of different things. Byron Katie does this sort of stuff. Course in Miracles, um, forgiveness, that's what this is, okay? So what I would suggest is you try it. Try it right now. Turn off this video, stop watching YouTube, and try and identify something that pissed you off or is currently really bothering you. And even get out a pen, piece of paper, and try it. You won't need a pen and a piece of paper for very long because this will become automatic. And you'll start doing this very, very frequently and habitually. So guys, give it a go, and uh, I hope it works out.